sound like I got a couple of shit. So this weekend, we all went out and bought the cheapest mopeds we could possibly find. We're taking them basically across the state to Holcomb, Wisconsin. It's about 50 minutes in a car. We got quite a lineup here, boys. Let's give them a little tour. What do we got here, Josh? 2010, guys asking a thousand bucks for that message on the phone and cash. He said, come get it. He had two prosthetic legs and no fingers past his first knuckle. And he told me it was a 150, but it's a 50. Okay, Adam? I'm not even sure what brand it is, but it's a 50cc moped. I got the part can on the back here. I, that probably cost me like three miles an hour slower. So we're gonna try and fix that. Uh, background story on my moped. I bought it from kid's girlfriend's brother from Stevens Point. He got arrested earlier this summer on it. They had a whole group. Tried out running the cops. Uh, he ended up ditching the moped, ran through someone's yard. He was hiding out in the backyard and the cops got him. Next up is Dylan. All right, so I actually picked this up from my local bar owner, uh, Shaky Joe, thank you. You serve great drinks and you have nice fast mopeds. So I do have the fastest in the fleet, which means I got to carry the subwoofer in the back. Something's got to slow him down. Yeah. Oh, crashed on it twice already. <laughs> So just watch out for um, just, I just got to keep it on two wheels today, really. Zach, you want to give us the rundown on your moped here? This is my, uh, I don't even know what year it is, Honda Sport 50cc. How'd you get it? Mm. Sister, her douchebag divorce husband. Oh, so we got this through the divorce? Yeah, we, so this is actually the only thing she got from the divorce, and <laughs> I'm just going to try to not wreck it for her. Hey, Chase, what do you got here? Got her in Nielsville. Uh, I was gonna get her for 250, and then it didn't start when I went there, so I got it for 200. Where do you think you're gonna rake in uh, speed today? That fucking last. Probably the slowest pet here. <laughs> because of you guys subscribing, we can do trips like this. Bro, not too much. I know it's not me, but... Oh, and I was a smart one to bring a field caddy with because... Hey, I brought one. I had to dump it all in the These guys think we're going to make it there in one tank. We will. No, it's only like 60 miles. Hey, right on! already yeah good thing i brought a fucking gas can no kidding dude dude i ain't gonna make it off a gallon all the way there <laughs> <laughs> what's going on i don't know she said she's warning us jim look at underneath your moped <laughs> oh jim the gas is fucking pouring <laughs> oh we gotta go, we gotta go. That's <laughs> the whole car. Long strike. Boys, we made it! Holy shit, that was a long ride. So soaked. Luckily, it just cleared up like the last Six five hours. miles. But. Six hours. My god, that took forever. Oh. We didn't vlog it all yesterday. The 12 ounce cans are just going down too easy and it would have just been terrible footage. Today's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's hot. We got a big crew coming. Hopefully we got another boat because we got too many people for this boat. Get some drone footage. Boat's still above water, we're good. We have Josh Rao behind the camera here. We're gonna see if he can hold 
up to our expectations, and if so, yeah, they'll be hired on with a with a pay wage of 30 bush lights a, a weekend. That's not enough. We're uh, doing a little ballast check here. So far, we got 380 pounds in the middle, and uh, we're trying to even it out in the back. We're hoping for a good wave today. Shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want. Pull my plug. Boat sinking. Uh, I do. I probably do have a wrench. So uh, we had about six guys standing on the back of the boat. Didn't realize that the water was coming in through the intake, and uh, we we're about one minute away from sinking this to thing right to the bottom. Man, oh man, we must have like 400 gallons of water in here. I thought it was gonna be at the bottom, 35 feet down. Yeah, I don't think it's better to go fast either. Well, got most of the water out. Still down bad. Got a safety switch or something. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Well, Adam! Come on, old girl. You can do She's it. She's trying. We're wide open. She's barely moving, but we're trying. It's getting better. She can do her. We'll be okay. All right, guys, the boat just made it back to the pier. We'll check in with Adam what he thinks. Okay. Don't want to talk about it. No, no flash photography. No, no, little rundown. How are we doing? Rundown, uh, rookie move on my part. A little much weight in the back. Started taking on water. Uh, we tripped the breaker for the bilge, so we really took on water. Uh, got her running. She went into limp mode for a bit. And how is she now? Just shut it off a couple of times like any good mechanic would do. Unhook the battery. <laughs> Shout out to Sam for saving us. <laughs> We're good to go for the rest of the day. Good to go. Shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want, it ain't nothing but a loop. Don't listen to friends, they don't know what's best for you. Uh, I want you, yeah, bet I want to shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want, it ain't nothing but a loop. Don't listen to friends. My name is Kerry and I want to eat it. <laughs> you guys really thought we were going to ride them that far? <laughs> Dude, ain't nobody going to know. Nobody's going to know.